Greetings all you button mashing motion masters. First off, welcome to the future, it's 2017, and here's something different. Here are my top 5 keyboard shortcuts in Cinema 4D. So limber up them digits, cause it's go time. First up, and last on the list, is space. Use it to swap between your selection tool and your last use tool, which might not sound like much, but it's really useful, especially when you're modeling something beautiful. And also if you double tap it, you switch twice, so that brings up the settings for your current tool. Particularly useful if you suddenly need soft selection, or if you want to change your cut type in the knife tool, or anything like that. So space is space warp to the last used tool. Four is a family of four keys, L, A, 0 and B. How many times have you wanted to change the default automatic keyframe to a linear one? Select your keyframe, press L, presto, done. Press A to get back your automatic tangents, but now they're unclamped, so you can move the handles however you want. Pressing 0 flattens out the angle, but keeps the length. And finally, B breaks the tangents for you. But I'm still not done! Zero and L work in the Attributes Manager as well, so if you're drawing a spline there, you can use those to do the same thing. Flatten out the angle and give zero length. So A is for automatic tangents, L is for linear keyframes, zero is for zero angle tangents, and B is for broken tangents. The H and the S keys are basically teleportation devices. Pressing H frames all the objects in your scene, so you can see everything in the entire galaxy. S is a bit similar, but it only frames the selected objects. And if you have a scene with large scale objects and small scale objects, you probably couldn't live without these keys. But another place where these really shine is in your dope sheet and F curves, where these keys can really speed you the F up. So H is for home, and S is for selected. Now, this next one I probably shouldn't show you, because it would render me and anyone who does tutorials completely useless. So, um, tough luck, I'm not going to show you that one. No, but seriously though. Command F1 is your best friend when it comes to exploring new territory in Cinema 4D. Hover over anything in Cinema 4D, tickle those keys and the corresponding help documentation just pops up right in your face. And it really works with basically anything. So now that you know that shortcut, I guess you'll uh, never have to watch another tutorial again. Command F1 is therefore shorthand for, I command you to find me one help, please. Cashier number one, please. Shift C. It brings up something called a command line. But a more accurate term would be the ultimate power in the universe. With this you can enter the name, or just the partial name, of any object, any tag, any function, any command, and every tool. Everyone? EVERYONE! Even down to the plugins. So if you ever forget where a tool lives, shift C, and you can just conjure it up like magic. But I'm, but I'm still, still not done. done! It also shows you the shortcuts for the tools. So over time, you'll just absorb all that knowledge until you're just a massive amorphous blob of Cinema 4D skill. Now that's a good keyboard shortcut. But hey, these are just my top five. Maybe there are even better ones out there. If you know of any, please share them in the comments and we can all learn a thing or two from each other. Isn't that beautiful? But in the meantime, thank you for your time. And until next time, stay in motion. Oops. Hey, it's just me again, sneaking in at the end when uh, only the true believers are left. I actually have a question for you. If you could have a tutorial on anything from the Star Wars universe, what would it be? Anything. Leave your answer in the comments. I'm, uh, I'm asking for a friend. Thanks.